Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Yoga Candy. I'm Candice and today we have around an 18 minute video for you. This is going to be a great stretch out for people who've just had a run or people who love to run that have tight hamstrings and tight legs. Um, but this is also good for any athlete, anybody who would like to stretch through the hamstrings and the psoas muscle. Also going to stretch the IT band out a little bit as well as the side body. So uh, we don't need much today, but if you have some yoga blocks and you'd like to keep them handy, this can help you get a little deeper into some of the stretches. If this is something you don't have, then maybe a couple of books, you can keep them beside you and use them, they'll, they'll do the same trick. Just stack them up so they're a little bit thicker. Other than that, put something comfortable on and let's begin. Okay, so if you can all come to the middle of your mat, we're going to start this off in, in cat-cow. So we need your knees to be hip width apart and your hands shoulder width apart. Start by breathing out and just really lifting your back, pushing your spine through your shoulder blades. And as you breathe in, look up towards the sky and drop your belly. Just repeat this a few times in your own time. Remembering to breathe out as, you're, as you drop your head and breathe in as you drop your belly and look up. Breathe out and feel that space between each vertebrae, pushing your shoulder blades apart. Now we're just going to come into a low lunge. If you can bring your right foot in between your hands. Don't let that knee go further than your front toes. Try to keep it really at a 90 degree angle if possible. The back leg, let it be straight out behind you. If you want to, you can work it back a little bit just to give that even more of a stretch. This is the perfect way to stretch out that psoas muscle, um, the front of your thighs, which of course gets pretty tight when we run. When you're ready, bring your hips back and straighten that front leg. Keep your foot engaged facing up towards the ceiling. If, you, if possible, try to keep your hips as even as possible. So that right leg, you might need to move the hip back slightly and with the left leg, move the hip forward a little bit. Try to keep your back straight. If you want to, you're welcome to drop your head down. When you're ready, let's go back into that low lunge. Letting gravity do its work and dropping your hips, letting them sink lower and lower, stretching out that psoas. This is quite an intense stretch, so if this gets too much for you, feel free to come out of it a little bit. Work your hips back again, straighten the front leg and come back into your half split pose. Feeling that lovely stretch down the hamstrings. Hold that for a moment and then just come back to the middle of your mat, placing your left knee on the floor and your left shin as well. Try to keep that leg at a 90 degree angle, straightening the right leg and then leaning over to the right, stretching that left arm up and over your head. You can use your right arm as support on your leg. Don't put that support onto your actual knee. So either above the knee or below the knee. And when you're ready, let's take it over to the other side. Place your left hand onto the floor and your right hand up and over. Do this with intention, guys, and really stretch through the fingertips all the way down the body. You can even rotate the wrist, feeling any tension in your wrists coming out as well. When you're ready, come back up to your low lunge again. Lift the back knee and just do a few little bounces here. This is also a good way to get into the front of those hips, just to stretch out those hip flexors. And come into plank. Just roll back and forth. As you roll back, you'll notice you can feel a lovely stretch in the calves. So really push down into the heels. And when you're ready, come back into the low lunge, but on the other side this time. So bring your left foot in between your hands, allowing your hips to drop forward. Don't forget to keep your spine straight. 
and that bent knee at about a 90 degree angle. Allow those hips to drop as far as you can. If you need to, you can even place your hands onto your knee and come up straight if this is a bit too intense for you to put your hands on the floor. Or you can even use blocks either side of your leg and come up onto those. Let's feel through that stretch a bit, remembering to breathe. Bring your hips back again into your half split. Trying to keep those hips nice and even. Pushing your left, your left um, buttocks back and your right buttocks forward. Try to keep your try to keep your spine straight, although there will be a natural curve and that's fine, but just as straight as possible. You can either keep your head up or you can let it drop down. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. Come forward again into your low lunge. Feeling that stretch in the psoas muscle once again. Just breathe into this. Breathe long and deep, guys. Don't forget to breathe. The main thing is to keep carrying that oxygen through all the muscles. Stretch your leg back again into your half split pose. Feeling that wonderful stretch down your hamstrings. Go as far as you want to with this. If you're particularly tight today, you can bring your hands a little bit back and sort of raise your body up a little bit higher. Don't feel you have, don't force yourself basically. Just do what feels natural. Do what feels good as well. Don't um, listen to your body. Your body tells you. Then lift that back knee off the floor and do a few little bounces again as if you're riding a horse. When you're ready, drop that back knee back down and your right knee should be on the floor and your right shin as well and then your left foot should be stretched out to the side of you using your hand as support on your leg again and bring your right arm up and over and really stretch through that side body you may even feel this a little bit in your lower back some of you that are very tight you may even feel it in your gluteus maximus medius or even in your IT band depending on how how much running you've done lately. When you're ready, let's take it over to the other side. Try to actually keep that left foot flat on the floor and using your left hand to really stretch up and over. Rotate your wrists a few times again. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the side body. When you're ready, let's come back up to the up to the center. And just take a seat. Stretch your legs out in front of you when you're ready. But for those of you that are very tight, try to have either a rolled up towel or a book or a, a bolster or you can even use one of your blocks if it's not one of the very hard blocks. You can place it underneath your knees and take a little stretch this way. For those of you that are a bit more flexible, you can either just lean forward and touch your toes or your shins or wherever you wherever you can feel. And if you're even even more flexible, you can use your block or your book, place it behind your feet and hold on to that instead, getting you even deeper into that stretch. Again, be mindful, guys. Listen to your body. If you if if this is just too much, come out of it. Don't feel it's, it's just not a competition. Listen to yourself. Try to keep those legs as flat as possible to the floor if you're in this, if you're flexible. Remember to breathe. Just feel the sensations in the back of the hamstrings there. You may even feel a little bit of a stretch in your arms and in your lower back. Okay, come up again and just move all of your bolsters or towels or whatever you have over to the side. Stretch your legs all the way out in front of you into a wide-legged forward fold. We're going to take it over to the right side. So put your 
left arm on the inside of your right leg sorry your right arm inside your right leg and then using your left arm if you can just try to touch your toes if not it's fine bring it as far as you can again don't feel pressured now we're going to take it roll your body to face your leg and bring both hands to that foot or to your shin to your ankle to your calf don't you know go as far as you can or you can even use a book or a bolster or one of your blocks and lean up on onto those if you're feeling particularly tight if you're not feeling tight at all again you can use that block to um, get even deeper into the stretch just remember to try to keep the opposite leg flat to the floor as well don't let that come up off of the ground now we're going to take it over to the other side so put your left arm inside the left leg and let's take it over to the side stretching the side body once again if you can touch your foot that's great if not just be where you are today just breathe here for a moment before we move on wonderful come back up to the middle face that leg and again you can either use your block to lean onto it if you just can't get any further and that's absolutely fine or you can come down touch your shin touch your toes or even use that block to get you even deeper into the stretch You might find one side is a bit tighter than the other. Don't feel that you have to do exactly what you did on the other side. If you can't use your block to get deeper into this side, that's absolutely fine. Sometimes we have injuries on one side that just take a little longer to heal. We just got to listen to our bodies. Never do anything that feels painful as long as it's a good kind of discomfort. It's a discomfort you can live with and you can still breathe with then that's the kind of discomfort you want okay when you're ready we're going to take this to the middle so keeping your legs as they are your feet flexed facing up towards the sky come down onto your elbows if possible or stay up on your hands what whatever is comfortable for you once again and rest your head onto that block if you want to if you're very, very flexible, you can even come all the way forward and rest your head onto the floor. You can stay like this, or you can even move your block a little bit onto the, onto the shorter, onto the longer edge so that you can get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Remember to try to keep your hips uh, square during this pose just hold and breathe enjoy the sensations when you're ready come up slowly walk your hands back just grab your legs from behind bring them to the middle and let's windshield wiper our legs from side to side Gives your lower back a slight twist as well as just releasing those legs from all the work we've just given them or all the stretching we've just given them. Come down onto your lower back. And then just place your right leg. We're going to do a, a, a lovely hip stretch here. So place your right ankle over your left knee. And this is going to look like a figure four. And then interlace your hands behind your left leg and pull it in towards your body but try to keep your shoulder blades still on the floor as well as your lower back on the floor so don't lift your bum up don't lift your shoulders up everything should be still flat against the floor this is just the a stretch for the hips it can be quite intense so only go as deep as you can you can even straighten that 
that back leg if you want to or keep it bent whatever feels more comfortable for you when you're ready bring them down and let's swap sides so create that figure four again interlace your hands place them behind your right leg this time you can use your right leg to kind of push your left leg closer to your body again keeping your lower back flush to the floor straighten that leg if you want to or keep it bent just listen to your body feeling that wonderful stretch in that IT band opening up that hip feeling the stretch also in your hip flexors when you're ready just give your knees a little squeeze in towards your body trying to keep everything flat to the floor still don't lift your bum you can stay here or you can come into happy baby grabbing the outsides of your feet with your arms inside your knees try to pull those legs closer and closer towards your armpits you're more than welcome to rock from side to side if that feels good for your lower back just pull them in and feel the stretch when you're ready come back up into a seat and if you have some books or a block um, you can even use a pillow for this behind your back a couple of pillows stacked up on top of each other what we want to do is get that block um, onto the top part of your back so do not put it on your lower lower spine try to get it just underneath your shoulder blades and then one to rest your head on it's going to give you a lovely natural arch in your back or well, not a natural arch but an, a, a nice feeling arch should we say you can either let your arms just fall out to the side just place them on the floor next to you put your feet together and open them up into butterfly letting your knees fall out to either side you'll notice the longer we stay in this position the more your knees are going to want to just drift towards the floor and that's that's brilliant that means that your hip flexors are opening more and more for those of you that find this particularly uncomfortable you can even leave your legs straight out in front of you you can just come into shavasana the final resting pose completely flat on the ground you don't need to lie onto any blocks at all for this Close your eyes and we're just going to take a moment here just to relax and to thank ourselves for giving our body this time. This time to stretch everything out, to thank it for all it's done for us, to give back what it's already given us. And to be grateful that we have a body that is capable of doing all of this. It's very easy to take all of this for granted, but we're all very blessed to even be able to run in the first place. Just listen to your breath, take deep breaths of gratitude. Until next time guys, keep running, keep enjoying life. Remember to keep a smile on your face. Namaste.